Hello there, I'm Hank, this is my guitar, and we're going to play some songs now. Um, uh, this is basically my VidCon set, but since not everyone can be at VidCon, here it is. Um, I've, I've been practicing, and I figured I might as well turn the camera on while I practice my uh, dress rehearsal here. I'm dressed. Uh, so I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna say, Hello, my name is Hank Green, I make songs and videos on the internet. Um, and I went on tour recently, and I got a question, pretty frequently. And I couldn't answer that question, and so I wanted to write a song about why I couldn't answer that question as sort of a response to that question that I got over and over again. Here we go. There's something happening on the internet and I don't really get it. Once again I'll have to say I'm not into that, but I'm sure that I'll regret it cause I know th no thousands of... Regret it, cause I know thousands of people've never cared about anything more. They've spent the last six months making tumblers, fanfic, and bulletin boards, and I think all that excitement is great. But when they ask, I have no choice. I still have to say that I don't have a favorite pony. Cause I've never seen that show, and I don't have a favorite pony. Cause I'm 31 years old and I don't have a favorite pony Cause I'm a self-respecting dude And I don't have a favorite pony Cause I just can't choose Dash the Pegasus has rainbow hair And the cutest cutie Mark and Applejack Is the strongest mare always working so hard And Fluttershy has totally got that Maryland vibe going on When it comes to the beauty prize of rarities already won and Pinkie Pie's excitement could fuel a jet plane The Twilight's the nerdiest, and that goes a long way But I don't have a favorite pony Cause I've never seen that show And I don't have a favorite pony Cause I'm 31 years old And I don't have a favorite pony Cause I'm a self-respecting ah, Have a favorite pony Cause I'm a self-respecting dude And I don't have a favorite pony Cause I just can't choose Well, my goal is to make this a better planet And I don't take that lightly I should be working my butt off all day, damn it And then look, I might be But it's equally probable That instead of changing the world I've spent the last six hours Watching a cartoon made for a little girl So battles in the real world Are so complexly won It's all so much simpler And equestrian But I don't have a favorite pony I don't have one even now I've spent the whole day Trying to pick back Watching old episodes I don't have a favorite pony uh, have a fa <laughs> It's so hard Have a favorite have a favorite pony cause I'm a self-respecting guy And I don't have a favorite pony cause I, I like Spike That's that song uh, That was the only sort of newish song that I'm gonna play today Because I hate when people do that, they come on We're gonna play all songs from the new album And you're like, I don't know any of those songs Why are you doing that? Um, but yeah Maybe I should put some reverb on this whole thing So it sounds like I'm in a big air stadium Okay um, so, uh, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, as you may know. So I wanted to play some Harry Potter songs. This is actually about a book that doesn't exist. I know I'm not the only one who wants to know more about Harry's sons. I really do think there's an unwritten story, and I think it's time to put fingers to keys. A lot of people I know want to know more about Grindelwald and Dumbledore. I really do think that they both batted lefty, and I think there's probably a good story there. For book eight. I want a book eight. I want a book eight. And I want J.K. Rowling to say that the epilogue was crap because we all know it was crap. And I want J.K. Rowling to say that Voldemort had a son and the story's just begun And I want J.K. Rowling to say That she's writing book A lot of people I know want to hear the tale Of that mysterious fail I really do think it's a dimensional portal And I think Sirius is in Middle Earth I know I wanna hear the one about Hagrid's dad and Hagrid's mom I really do think that that's nearly impossible And I think there's probably a good story there For book eight I want a book eight I want a book eight And I want J. 
J.K. Rowling to say that the epilogue was crap cause we all know it was crap and I want J.K. Rowling to say that Voldemort had a son and the story's begun and I want J.K. Rowling to say that she's writing book She could call it Harry Potter and the Pillar of Storge or Harry Potter and the Knights Who Say Me Or Harry Potter and the Time Lord Fight the Daleks Or Harry Potter and the Giant Squid of Anger Or Harry Potter and the Map of the Realm of Narnia Or Harry Potter and the Puppy-Sized Elephants Or Harry Potter and the Hanks Channel viewers that didn't go to VidCon oh, I want a book, hey, yes, I want a book, hey, oh, Harry Potter. I really do think there's an unwritten story, and I think it's time to put fingers to keys. I do love the Harry Potter songs. The first uh, song, the first like thing that ever happened to us on Vlogbrothers, that like big, like big one day thing, it sort of grew slowly uh, most of, throughout most of our YouTube experience, but a couple spikes here and there. And the first one of those where we really were like, this is pretty amazing, was when I sang the song about the release of the new Harry Potter book, which clearly uh, is quite an anachronistic song by now, but uh, I still love it anyway. So I'm gonna play it for you. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of this pre-publication media blitz. They've got all of Muggle kind under their spell. Oh, don't you know the whole world's already gone and reserved a copy at Amazon? How many more books could you sell? Now give me my book or go to hell, cause I need. Harry Potter, like a grindy low, needs water, and as that day approaches, my need grows. So I see you, Deathly Hallows, Incendio, book sales, and bargains, it'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose. Yeah, I see you, Deathly Hallows. I'm getting kind of petrified, oh, what did Ron do if Hermione died, or if Voldemort killed a head just for yucks? I have no confidence in theories about the half-blood prince And what if Harry's brain is a horcrux? Oh, holy crap, that would freaking suck And I should try to be pretty convenient Cause I need Harry Potter like a grindy low Needs water and as that big approaches my need proves Oh, I see you, Deathly Hallows, Incendio, book sales and barbers It'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose yeah, I see you, Deathly Hallows. Whatever's up the sleeves of J.K. Rowling, I bet it has to do with him unbreakably vowing to protect that pure blood puffs face Malfoy. But in the end, I don't think it's gonna matter if Snape's good or if he's bad, because the weight of the world rests on our boy. Yeah, the weight of the world rests on our boy, cause we need Harry Potter like the grin below needs water, and as that day approaches, my knee moves. Oh, I see you, Deathly House, and send me your book sales and barbers. It'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose. Yeah, I see you, Deathly Hallow. But mostly I'm just feeling sad. I know this could end real bad, but. I wish it didn't have to end at all Oh, I wish it didn't have to end at all Cause I couldn't care more about Harry Potter If Hogwarts was my alma mater And as that day approaches my knee grows Ooh, I see you, Deathly Hallows, Incendio Book sales and barbers, it'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose Yeah, I see you, Deathly Oh, I see you, Deathly Hallows. Oh, I see you, Deathly Hallows. Oh, I see you, Deathly Hallows. I don't know what that was at the end there. 
I have to stop and restart real quick. Okay, I'm back. But of course I write songs about things besides Harry Potter. Um, there's a, there's a, a, a fish in the deep ocean, and it's sort of a fascinating animal to me. Um, because there are so few fish in the deep ocean that uh, it's very difficult for two of them to find each other when it's time to mate. Um, and uh, one species of fish has solved this problem in a very elegant and beautiful way. Uh, and that species is the deep sea anglerfish. And they uh, have solved this by uh, the males of the species are born tiny with no ability to even eat or digest food. They're basically just a mouth, a nose, uh, a fin to move around, and some testicles. And the, the mouth, uh, the, the testicles are there for obvious reasons. The tail is there to move around. The nose is there to sniff out a female anglerfish, and the mouth is there for when they find a female anglerfish to bite her with. So they bite her, and an enzyme in her skin dissolves his lips, and then their circulatory systems fuse until they become basically the same entity. And she and he, is basically just a pair of testicles on her side. And I thought that that story was so beautiful that I wanted to write a song about it. And here it is. Yes, it's true that I once went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with strife. Yes, I've been burned and I've been spurned and through it all my friends I've learned that love is not about whether you get stabbed, it's how slow the knife gets turned. But my friends, I found an animal who doesn't feel this pain and my life is so much better now that I can feel the same. Oh, you can't eat the night if you live your whole life without light, and you can't eat the fish if you've really ever eaten fish, and you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known. Yeah, the gypsy anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but it has no freaking idea what else to be. Well, the deep sea dwelling and fish never has to find a mate. They are always there together when it's time to procreate. See, one dark night a young man bites a female on her side, and then slowly he becomes a sperm producing parasite. And if we can say he lives at all, he lives until she dies, and until that day they litter and until that day he literally never leaves her side. Oh, you can't eat the night if you lived your whole life without light, and you can't eat the dish if you've only ever eaten fish, and you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known. Yeah, the deep sea angler fish has no reason to be happy, but you have no freaking idea what else to be. Years this rule has kept me out of hopeless despair You simply do not feel what is always there I ask my brain to entertain the pain is the same that if I feel it all the time Can you really call it pain? Well, I don't have any friends and I don't have any hair But neither does the angler fish and she doesn't care Oh, you can't eat the night if you live your whole life without light And you can't eat the dish if you only ever eaten fish And you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known yeah, the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but it has no freaking idea what else to be. Ah, uh, such a fun one. So now let's move on to a song that isn't as fun. I wrote this song uh, after my brother's new book came out, The Fault in Our Stars, and it is, uh, takes place inside of that, that universe um, from the perspective of a 16-year-old of a girl. So just imagine me as a 16-year-old girl with a booming baritone voice. Oh, I have to remember how it starts. Ah. Okay, got it. Ha! Ah. We all can dream of blazing glory. But all I dream of now is you and your blue eyes. It's strange to think how we can feel we don't live our own life. I wasn't sure about my own, but now I'm feeling fine. Game books that might get me funny books, but Staff Sergeant Max Mayhem gets me hot. And I'm starting to see not just what you want from me, but what you want to get from what you got. Now, what do you think you're gonna be? Some kind of lasting mark well with infinite tomorrows And no, this isn't fair No one gets remembered But right now I just don't care Your video 
old game books thing Might give me funny looks But Staff Sergeant Max Mayhem gets me hot And I'm starting to see Not just what you want from me But what you want to get from what you've got There's not a lot in history I wish our lives were so much simpler And I hope you get to have your moment in the fight But no one ever gets to be quite who they want to be You want it to matter, boy, well you matter to me Your video game books They might give me funny looks But Staff Sergeant Max Mayhem Gets me hot And I'm starting to see Not just what you want from me But what you want to get From what you've got There's not a lot Of amputee heroes got one sitting right in front of me so we got to pick it up after that but i really do appreciate that john gives me a chance every once in a while to write some more serious songs i don't have a lot of them i you know have a fairly peculiar relationship with them but um i do like it a lot when i get the chance and it comes out really well like i think that would be um this song is is about quarks there's no subtext at all. It's straight up about quarks. There's nothing, uh, ex there's no hidden message. It's 100% about quarks and, and science. Like the Anglerfish song is a little bit about, you know, pain and suffering and despair, uh, and, and, but also biology. This is just about quarks, just to be clear. Um, a quark is a fundamental constituent of matter observed in 1968 through deep elastic scattered. We found that protons aren't as simple as we thought. We thought they were solid particles, but they are not protons. In fact, they're made up of three separate pieces. It just gets more confusing as our knowledge increases. And that is what a quark is. It's a piece of a proton. And they also make up other things, including a neutron. Oh, up, down, strange charm, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quark is, it don't matter. You still got them. And with leptons and bosons and less than think them, if they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Got it. I always have a hard time with the second verse. Things made up of quarks including protons and neutrons are composite particles that physicists call hadrons. Many types of hadrons are theoretically described, but most exist for only very brief amounts of time. Quarks have electric charge, color charge, mass, and spin. And having color charge means they exist solely inside of other kinds of particles and cannot exist alone, which more quarks have never been studied on their own. Oh, up, down, straight, jump, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quark is, it don't matter, you still got them. And with leptons and bosons, unless something's amiss, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Quarks are joined together in two different ways Baryons and mesons but most instantly decay If a particle has three quarks then it's a baryon And if there's one quark and an empty quark then it is a meson These tiny bits of matter are part of almost everything And there is no unified theory to make it less confusing But the fact that we've identified that they exist at all Is so freaking remarkable that I just sit in awe Oh, up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom If you don't know what a quark is it don't matter you still got them And with leptons and bosons unless something's amiss They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists up, down, strange, charm, top, bottom. If you don't know what a quark is, it don't matter. You still got them. With leptons and bosons, unless it's a mess, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. They make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. Thank you, my name is Hank Reed. You just had me play music for you. What? Uh, how do you end these things? Next up. I don't even know who's coming on after me. But thanks. I'm sure it will go a little longer in the real world, so about 20 minutes, not bad. And I uh, hope you liked it. Bye.